I flew around the world in 10 days and it all started here. Back in late August, I found a $400 ticket to Singapore and I thought, why not? So two days later, I was sitting in the Dallas-Fort Worth airport waiting for my flight that ended up being delayed just enough to cause me to miss my connection in San Francisco that would have taken me to Singapore. But the airline put me up in a hotel, so it was alright. I had a little trouble sleeping, so I took the opportunity to walk around the hotel and just check things out. And after spending the following day hanging out in the San Francisco airport, around 11 p.m. I finally hopped on my 16-hour flight straight to Singapore. And the flight really wasn't that bad. Chill people, and I actually got some pretty good sleep. I found out that if you put some stuff under your back for lumbar support and just sleep straight, you don't get those kinks in your neck so bad. When we landed, it was early morning in Singapore, and apparently that day exactly, they had just lifted the mask mandate, which was super nice because it can get kind of humid there. Customs was super fast and easy. They have Uber there, so it was also super easy to just get to the hotel. Once it got cleaned up, I headed out to wander around. And there's this area called the Marina Sands Bay that I didn't know much about, but they had this mall with one of the largest collections of fancy designer brands that I've ever seen. And they also had the slowest escalator I've ever seen. But after that, I met some guys that were there for some tech conference and I had breakfast with them. They showed me this thing called Kaya Toast, which is like a light, sweet breakfast kind of toast. Super good. And after that, we split off and I just followed the sidewalk along the bay. I think there was some Disney event going on because there was a bunch of Disney decorations and activities around the area. And I also found this super cool Apple store that you can take this ramp up to, or you can go from inside the mall and under the water and take an elevator up to the store itself. There's also the super impressive Louis Vuitton store, but I didn't go in it. I'm not really into the designer stuff. And this Lotus looking building is the Art Science Museum that I also didn't go in. Something I did notice was that everywhere I went in Singapore was super clean and well kept. And this park was interesting. They had some exercise equipment and musical instruments to play with. I really like those kinds of things. Eventually I saw these things in the background and I really didn't know what they were, but I had seen pictures online. This trip really was not well planned before I got on the plane. This area had these giant tree things and a really impressive botanical garden. There was this Mayan themed installation when I visited and the plants were beautiful. And there was this thing I have in my Animal Crossing Museum. And there were also some elderly on a field trip which made me smile. And there was this other botanical garden kind of thing that was super cool. It had all these waterfalls and twisty bridges you could walk around on. It also had this awesome view of the marina sands outside. There were stalagmites because stalactites hang tight from the ceiling. And it had these cool caves just to wander around. This spot in particular was called Super Tree Grove. These are concrete tree things that have steel beams wrapped around them and bridges kind of going between them. So it was a neat area to check out because you can go up to the top, walk around and look out over beautiful Singapore. There's more Disney stuff. And it looked like they were prepping for some event that day, so I decided to just come back later, so bye, see you later.